Live from the Xavier Mansion, it's the Insane Board Game Freak Show with your host, Media Insane Board Game Freak. Yo, come on, score everybody. Free inside, X-Men Survival Guide from the Mansion. A bridged version. Features 18 collectible X-Men figures. Xavier Institute. For higher learning. Mutanus. Mutant. Mutanado. In this episode. <laughs> X-Men Under Siege Game The Board Game Quick To the Board Game Room Alright, here we go. It's the X-Men Under Siege game. The board game. And this game, this is the second game from the last game. It's X-Men Uncanny X-Men Alert. Adventure game. X-Men Under Siege game. The board game. Uh, and then you got um, uh, X-Men Crisis in a Danger Room game. The, the 3D action board game. And you got me talking all silly about it. You don't got me talking all silly. I got myself talking all silly about it. So anyway, you're going to get all these figures now. It's pretty cool, these miniatures. You could paint them up too if you like. I mean, they, they would look cool painted up and everything. But you're going to get all these characters in the game here. All right? So you can pause it and read it if you want. All right? And that's it. So... Some have returned from the last game of uh, X-Men Alert. And um, some are just different in this game. And, you know, they took some characters out, put new ones in, whatever. So it's pretty cool. And uh, let's get to the parts, the pieces in the game. And then I'll show you the board. And then I'll teach you how to play a game. All right. You're also going to get this X-Men Survival Guide to the Mansion. Pretty cool. And it's got some of the characters from um, the X-Men and the mansion. And then uh, it's got some adverts in here. Then it's got Dear Student. Alright. So apparently you believe it too. So welcome X-Men, both old and new. Welcome to the dream. Pretty cool. And then you're going to get, you know, um, different blueprints and map outs. And just, I used to love this stuff when I was a kid. I used to go to my school library. And take out books about um, different vehicles and the insides of a vehicle, like a like a jet or a submarine or something like that. And you see all the rooms and everything. And I was like really into GI Joe back then too. So like looking at all this stuff now is pretty cool. But if I would have saw this back then, you know, I probably would have uh, been really really excited and uh, happy about seeing it. You know, because this stuff's pretty cool. I used to love looking at maps when I was a kid too. And stuff like that. And then, uh, you know, like, I used to just like to just have fun, like, playing army and stuff. And, uh, you know, different stuff like that. So you got, like, you know, security man security inside the mansion. Stuff like that. Yeah, so this is pretty cool and stuff. You got other page, you got other pages of the danger room programs and stuff. So, pretty cool stuff. And then you got, um... You got uh, me pausing and uh, showing you my, my floor and the, the, the game table and uh, the Chinese checkers and stuff like that. And, you know, there's, I got dust. Jeez. All right. And that's basically a danger room control annex. All right. And then you got a cerebral room. Okay, and then you got more adverts from back in the day. 
pretty cool stuff. Yep. Game two. Pretty neat. So, somebody's going to get that game before I review it. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm talking about, right? Okay. You see what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> nice. So, anyway, I'll put this back and I'll, I'll break out the board and start teaching you how to play the game. All right, here we go. It's X Men Under Siege game. The, the board game. All right, so now, anyway, you're going to get this board, all right? It's a, it's a long board, and um, you're going to have to um, unfold it like so. All right, so you're going to have... Oh, and it goes off the table a little bit, so. Oh, yeah, I... You're gonna get all this, like the like the King Kong board game I got. All right, based on a movie, King Kong, the one from the '70s. I tried getting the other one from online during an auction over the weekend, but um, I screwed that up. I ended up falling asleep. Could have won it, but I totally dunced that one. So. Now somebody else has it, and they're going to do a review about it, probably, and then, uh, you know, that's basically it with that, but as I said to you in an episode before, I'm not jealous or competitive or anything, but anyway, it's it. I just do the videos of the games that I have, and that I, I order, that I, I buy, whatever, and that that's basically it. That's Other stuff doesn't matter to me. I just don't believe in it, all right? So, you know... That's basically it, and I don't even want to talk about it anymore, so. Alright, so. It's not necessary. Alright. So, um, you're going to get these cards now of all, like, just like in the other game, the Uncanny X-Men uh, alert game. You're going to get all your player character cards like that, your stats, power stat cards. Okay? So, and there's Rogue again. There, there, there's Rogue, Rogue again. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I wish, okay. <laughs> uh, Gambit. There's Storm. Okay. Well, they're cool chicks, you know? Come on. Power stack cards. Okay, Nightcrawler. He's cool. Uh, Jean Grey. And I think Wolverine. Um... I don't know, whatever. Wolverine had a thing for him or something. In the cartoon, the comics, Beast, Jubilee, okay, okay, cool, Psylocke, alright, that, that, that's basically it, right, alright, Archangel, you're gonna get Banshee, Iceman, you have Bishop, uh, Maverick, Longshot, Havoc and Cable. Okay. Alright, so those are your character cards now. So basically the same thing. You got X's here, and some of them are gonna be blank, some of them are gonna say evil mutant on them. Evil mutants on them, okay? And you get your hit tokens. Alright, you get your um your other um evil mutant blood splat chits, whatever. Uh your under siege cards, your evil mutant cards. On the back of these, it's going to be like, like events or something like that. Evil Mutants. Alright. Strength of 12. So they're going to be characters like Omega Red is going to be in this game too again. So Exodus is in this. Toad, he's cool. Blob, Juggernaut, Sentinels, Sentinels, whatever. Um, Sauron, you're going to get um, Fabian Cortez, alright. And uh, other characters. Now, some of them you're going to get Cerebro Scan, all right? And you can pause that and read that now. Uh, so, Avalanche is in this, okay? So, you're going to get a lot, a lot of cool games, uh, characters in here, comic character, Magneto, Magneto, whatever, all right? And uh, that's basically it. Now, um, you're also going to get um, it's a nice skinny board, so like I can put my stuff. Like a wall on the side here, it's cool. Player marker tokens here, 
uh, you're gonna the bases you're gonna slide underneath the bases of these characters here of uh, the game okay all these characters so that's basically it with that uh, now let's go over the instructions for the game you get these indicators here like last time uh, the under siege shields are gonna be like um, ground floor sitting room all right, you have all these kind of stuff in it, special cards and stuff. All right, and uh, that's it with that. And I'll, I'll I'll explain that in a bit. Okay, so now um, okay, and then you're gonna be getting this these dice here and using them the same way pretty much as the last game. So I think it's like basically the same kind of gameplay in a sense, but a little bit different. All right, so now um, in this game the the object. Of the game is to um uh while the x-men were away on a secret mission xavier uh xavier's mansion was invaded by a host of evil mutants the call is out all x-men must return to the mansion at once even p each player will lead a team of x-men to help battle the evil mutants restore all order and attempt to acquire the most points while securing the mansion okay so um you're gonna get like these chips here are gonna be going over on these things every single time something happens with that that you need to put that on there so i'm guessing like whenever you get like a hit or something like that you put and if it reaches the end then you know that's it, it you're done it's all over so um the 18 x-men figures so each each X Men character is a supply, su superbly sculpted miniature figure, and figures use um, as a mover during play. And if you wish, you may paint your figures. So um, uh, the figure showcase shows uh, stores the X Men in there. Uh, now you're gonna get um, eighteen X Men power stat cards, and each each power stat card pictures an X Men character and lists the character's power status, fighting skill, durability, intelligence, and extra ability. All right. So the character's uh, fighting skill number shows uh, many dice that can uh, ro be rolled when battling evil mutants. And for Wolverine, um, it, it's it's a 7. So I don't know if it changed or if it's different from the last one. But, um, you know, you're going to get you know, Wolverine here, okay? So his his stat's going to be like that, like so. And that's what, and then you, whenever he loses health, you're going to mark it down. And he's out back into the headquarters too get um recovered so um now uh the durability number shows how many hits a character can just sustain before he is out of action and must recover the 4x symbols circles on the right of the wolverine's card show um what uh yeah it, it's it's basically the, the same thing pretty much i'm gonna see if there's like a difference and worth talking about if not that's because of the fact that it's the same as the last game i just reviewed about the other x-men game x-men alert so, uh, it pretty much is. So the intelligence number shows the amount. Okay, and that that's basically it. So, um, it shows a number of under siege cards a player can hold in their hand. Uh, Wolverine's intelligence number is two and will contribute two cards to a player's hand. Each character has his own player special ability, and it's explained on the lower half of the card. So, all right. So now, um. The 12 team color bases, you're going to put them on. Uh, there are four team colors. Each team has three bases, all right? Uh, so now the, the game board pictures the mansion's six levels and details uh, important rooms on, to, on each level, okay? So um, now six evil mutant strength indicators. Um, that comes with six. I got four, so... Uh, I, I can use the other from the last game that I reviewed about, you know, X-Men Alert. Uh, or I can just probably see if I can get them online somehow or just use something else. Anyway, so uh, now the X symbol with the color of each level, okay, in place and on the top of six red squares. Now, these indicators are used to track the fighting strength of the evil mutant fighting on the level, okay? Uh, 62 room chips. Now, the, these room chips here... Are gonna be now. They notice that they're they're light blue, uh, purple, uh, green, and pink. 
or like a like a red or a re orange, whatever. And then there's yellow. Oh, okay, so th those chips. Now the room chips are colored to match the level. In addition, the words "Evil Mutant" or "X-Men" are pointed and printed on the back sides of the some of the chips, as indicated below. Okay, so here's the indication right there. You can. Okay, so now um, seventy under siege cards. Okay, now these cards here are uh, picture all fifty two rooms in the mansion and include another eighteen extra special cards. So you're gonna get all these rooms and all these parts of these mansions, all right, uh, on on these cards here, all right. And now twenty evil mutant cards. The evil mutant cards picture an evil mutant and give the evil mutant strength. The higher the number, all right, the higher the um, like strength six, you know, strength nine, all right. Now these cards um, uh, the the more powerful the mutant is, the higher the number. The higher the strength number, the higher the power, the power, the more powerful the evil mutant. The Cerebro scan cards. I mean, geez, I'm trying to talk, and it's like the words can't come in my mouth. All right, so now the higher uh, I read that right. God, man, please, somebody help me. The Cerebro scan cards are bonus cards, which indicate that some rooms on this level have already been scanned and are, are and they're empty and can be secured. The nine dice, okay, nine dice here. The dice determine the outcome of many character actions. Peel off the labels and put them on. Each die has two X-Men sides, one Marvel, one Evil Mutant, and two blank sides. Now, the, the maximum number of dice you can roll at one time for a character is nine. Any number of over nine while fighting or performing an unknown action is disregarded. Even the Marvelous X-Men are on, only so great. So, the same thing as the last game, X-Men Alert in a way, but different. All right, so... A little bit different. So the the hit chips, all right, forty eight hit chips are used to show that your X Men characters have taken a hit during battle. Fifty five evil mutant blood chips. Okay, um, the the evil mutant blood chips are used to track which team of X Men scores hits on the evil mutant during each battle. Okay, so along up this line here. Okay, so now set up. You got mix the X Men power stack cards and deal two to each player. Uh, each player puts the power stack cards face up in front of them, and the, the remaining cards are placed face down near the game board. And however, if all players agree, each player may look through the power stack cards and take the X-Men stack cards of his choice. Uh, each player takes the X-Men figures that match the cat power stack card, and if, if you get Archangel, for example, place the peg on its wings uh, into the hole on the back of uh, the, the wings there on the, on the miniature and press into place gently and gingerly otherwise you break it now that will be sad so now each player selects a team color and takes the three bases of that color slide the two figures into the color bases place each figure on the power stat and that's it with that so now um you're gonna turn all the room chips so that the x's sides up and then mix them and place uh one matching chip x side up on each room okay in the mansion so do not look at the other side of the chips Return any extra chips for each level, for a level to the box, and take care not to look at the bottom of these chips, too. Place each evil mutant strength indicator on the proper X symbol near the name of the of the level. Okay, so you're going to put these over here and that, and then you're going to mix these up and put them all around here like so. Okay, and then um, you're going to um, shuffle the evil mutant cards, shuffle the under siege cards, and deal out... Uh, to each player, the number of cards equal to the total intelligence of their team's X-Men. So place the remaining cards face down on the game board. Shuffle the evil mutant cards and place the deck face down on the game board. Carefully separate the hit chips and place them near the game board. Carefully separate the evil mutant blood chips and place them near the game board. Uh, going first, each player rolls five dice. High roller goes first. X-Men one point. Marvel equals two points. Evil mutants and blanks do not count. Okay, so now um, that's what going first. Now playing the game. Following is a following. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be like a two part episode. So um, I'm gonna put the the first this first half up and then uh, put the next second half up in this game on about this episode about this game. Okay, so stay tuned to the next episode of my show and you can see the rest of the instructions on how to play this game. Okay, so um, playing following is a brief exp explanation of the five steps in a player's turn. Each step is explained in detail uh later on in the instructions 
All right, so you, step one, you're going to discard cards. Then you're going to play cards and move your X-Men around, okay? Um, fight battles in case of any. And an X-Men, uh, which did not move or battle, can recover. And then you draw your hand back up to match your team's intelligence. And then um, once you've uh, completed your turn, play continues to the left counterclockwise. Uh, clockwise. Uh, discard any under siege cards from your hand, for example... Um, your room cards, uh, which are already secured, should be discarded. Form a discard pile near the deck of the on the other siege cards. Um, you know, play a card. When you play a room card, you must state which of the X-Men is going to move around the board in the level of that level in that room and search the room. Um, at, at the start of play, you know, move your figure from the power stack card to the room. Uh, the figure does not have to be placed in the room. Placing him or her near the room on the same level is okay. Uh, once you've uh, got your X-Men on in the mansion. You, you'll you'll move them from level to level as you play along with the cards. After uh, your cards have been played, you're gonna to uh, then you should be placed on the discard pile and discard them. So uh, turn the room chip over, okay, and see what it is now. Uh, if it's an X-Men or if it's an uh, evil mutant. So if the back of the chip is blank, the room is secured. It's an X-Men. So. Um, you, know, you place the chip near your power stack card, and your team will score points for each room scored. So you'll you'll get your X Men card now, and then you'll you'll you put them at your headquarters. These are your headquarters, okay? So that's that. Now um, you're going to be um doing that, and then if you have other X Men which have not moved, you can play a room card for them too as well. So if the back of the chip says X Men, you have discovered a captured X Man, and then. You can free them or her so you can they can join your team. That's pretty cool. I like that. So um, you're going to place the room chip near your power stack card. And then that ends that. Now draw the top X-Men power stack card. This X-Men joins your team if you rescue them and save them. You slide the figure into the stand, into the base. And then um, and place it on the power stack card. On your, on, on your power stack card, whatever. That you own of that X-Men character that you just rescued and saved. Okay? So now your team can only have three members, okay? So remember, you three of these each color, okay? So now that's that with that. And that's it. Now, um, if you have other X Men, uh, which have not moved their turn, uh, you cannot play a room card for them. If the back of the chip says Evil Mutant, draw the top Evil Mutant card, okay, and see what one of these cards are now, okay? And um, if Magneto, whatever. So you're gonna fight him now, whatever. So, um, uh, place the Evil Mutant Strength Indicator for this level on the Evil Mutant Strength Track space equal to the strength of the Evil Mutant. Place the, alright, so 21, it's going to 21, and then it's going to be over here, like so, with, with these indicators, okay, on the board, you're going to be playing all this on the board. So, um, uh, now, place the Evil Mutant card in that level, place the Evil Mutant Strength Indicator for his level on the... If on, on this level for on the evil mutant strength track space equal to the strength of the evil mutant place the room chip face up on the zero space at the bottom of the strength track okay when an evil mutant is battling on a level x-men cannot leave this uh, level okay until the evil mutant is captured and defeated and out of the way now x-men can only move to this level and join the battle by playing an extra special quick response card Room cards for this level cannot be played until the Evil Mutant is captured. If you have an other uh, X-Men which have not moved this turn, you cannot play a room card for them. However, you, you can play an extra special quick response card and have any or all of your X-Men join the battle. When you draw an Evil Mutant card, you may be lucky uh, and, and draw the Cerebro Scan card, which is cool. And a Cerebro Scan card, which uh, lets you secure a room that um you know there are two rooms on this level and take the room chip you searched and one additional room chip uh and place these chips in front of you and now um uh, um ignore the, the the back of these room chips though okay uh if you have any other x-men which have not moved you can play a card for them all right so that that's pretty cool now um uh x extra special cards now when, when your team has less than three members you may play the extra special card at the start of your turn and which lets you add one um x x-man to your team draw the top x-men power stack card this x-men joins your team automatically like that and um slide the figure into the, the base 
and uh, of that color that you are and place the figure on his power stack card. Draw that power stack card and your team can only have these three members. So instead of playing a room card, you may play an extra special card which lets you move one or more of your X-Men to, to any level and search any room on that level. Um, in, instead of playing a, a room card, you play you may play an extra special card which lets uh, one or more of your X-Men uh, move to the medical wing and, and recover. Okay, um, the medical wing uh, somewhere in the board. Uh, I'm not going to find it right now. It's going to be too late and I'll be spending time using that, doing that. So you'll find it, you'll see it. I believe you have faith in you. All right, so now um, you're going to um, do that. And uh, so instead of playing a room card, you may play an extra special card, which lets you um, move uh, one or more of your X-Men to any level and search 